folks, I am Ultrazilla, and this is the Ultra Z News Week and update to Holy Toy News, not for views, but for all of views. We have a lot to talk about this week. It's been a pretty newsworthy week. Unfortunately, I didn't get to do this news till late today, so probably seen this a little late. Uh, my apologies, but we're going to get to everything. Sit back, relax. Get a beverage, uh, because uh, unlike the last few weeks, this is a legit heavy news week. So without further ado, let's get to the news. So let's go back all the way to last Sunday night, where we got some major announcements from uh, Takara. They're doing a whole bunch of new collaborations, uh, but the biggest one for our purposes is with Godzilla and Transformers. That's right, my zillions. Two of my biggest loves of anything is Godzilla and Transformers, as you guys know. Uh, and uh, we're getting a collab uh, between the two. Unfortunately, as far as Takara collabs, although I, I gotta say, this is Takara Brandon because it's part of the T-Spark initiative. This is amongst the weakest I've seen. Uh, and that is a big bummer. What we're getting is a repaint of uh, the G2 Laser Prime from Legacy uh, as a Kiryu type uh, colors. And we are weirdly getting a Grimlock body Megatron head in Godzilla colors, like Godzilla type. Um, very, very odd. They couldn't have given us a new Godzilla head instead of the Grimlock head. I'm very confused about that. It is very weird. It's pretty disappointing considering all the really cool collabs Hasbro has initiated here in the United States. And uh, this Takara initiated one is is pretty weak. Uh, considering it's the, the magnitude of the properties involved, it's pretty weak. I, and I, I don't know what you know, they were thinking, or if there's some sort of blockage by Toho from doing it any further, I'm not 100% sure. But I do know it's definitely amongst the weakest. Will I get him though? Yes. Uh, because, guys, uh, for me, this is the perfect opportunity to uh, get some of you, because the, the figures themselves are fine. Um, so this is an uh, opportunity for me to, you know, show a lot of Godzilla fans more of the Transformers world and hopefully turn some fans into Transformers fans um, from the Godzilla uh, community. And it could go reverse too, but I, for my purposes, I'm more concerned about the other way uh, because I want more Godzilla fans to watch more Transformers reviews. So let's see what happens. Uh, but that is the collab uh, that is main to us. But the other big collab, and this one looks a lot better, is Zoids X Diaclone X Transformers. This looks really, really cool. I can't wait to see more pics of this, uh, but I'm liking what I'm uh, seeing uh, so far. There's also going to be a Macross one, but we haven't had clear photos of that yet, so do stay tuned. Another collab that's a very much a Japanese thing is with something called Bump of Chicken Base. I don't know anything about this. Uh, you get a funky Optimus Prime, uh, and that, that's all I got. It's a funky Optimus Prime. Let me stick with Takara a bit because they had a big show this week, and uh, they also announced an MPG God Bomber that's going to combine with your Jinrai figure to form a god Jinrai. So if you're getting the other ones, this is definitely something you're gonna wanna get. From a Dia clone, we're getting a Dia Battles X Cross. Now I had shown the prototype of this little uh, while back and now we got the full color of it. Looks absolutely phenomenal. Definitely the evolution of a Dia Battles. In the Toy Rise subline, we are getting a Genesic Gao Guy Gar. Uh, it is not combined in these prototype picks, uh, but they do look really, really nice. Uh, so if you're into the Brave series and Gao Gai Gar, this looks like a one to get uh, for sure. 
Now, uh, in the legacy line on the Hasbro side of things, finally, Road Pig has officially been announced. I believe it went up for pre-order this week at Walmart. Uh, it looks really, really nice. Honestly, it's a really cool uh, looking uh, figure. So if you're into it and you like the motorcycles, uh, this might be a uh, one for you to get. Now, uh, a little bit of an editorial here and uh, news as well. The uh, Commander Class Studio Series Optimus Prime from the Transformers the movie has been released in Asia apparently. Uh, and it has uh, been widely noted that the back of the feet have been misassembled. Now, I don't know if they're going to correct it by the time the line gets over here, the production line. I don't know. I'm not sure how big or how different the production is, uh, whether they have one separate production for Asia, one separate production for North America. It's possible, guys. They have factories in multiple places. So will this be corrected? I'm not sure. Now, I've seen a lot of people going crazy about this, trying to fix it. Um, it's in the back. And if it doesn't bother the standing of the figure, I don't think this is going to be that big of a deal. Should it have happened? No. But uh, I'm not sure if it's worth going crazy and trying to fix it. We'll see when the figure is out here. All right, let's talk some Bandai, starting with the movie Monster Series, because they had a big week. How about let's start with Super Godzilla? That's right, it, to go with your baggins, guys, except it is a P Bandai exclusive for whatever reason. Now, the good news is you can get it at Big Bad Toy Store. They, they're lumping uh, the price of the shipping right on top of everything. That's fine. 60 bucks, I could deal with it. it comes out next year. Do place your pre-orders before those pre-orders run out because I think it's going to be a hot one because it looks really good. Uh, and who can't use a movie monster series, Super Godzilla. Another one I think you're going to want is a little Godzilla. This is a regular release and it looks super, super cute. Really, really dig this one. Definitely a, a must get. Then we're going to get uh, some redos with like the Awakening Shin Godzilla. So if you missed out the first time, you get it in slightly different colors here. And another uh, repaint of a Godzilla 54. Eh, I, I don't need either one of these two, which is a good thing because I'm just not getting everything. Now, another brand new one just announced was Godzilla GMK. This looks really, really cool. Definitely a, a must have. And then I believe this one is a reissue of um, uh, Ghidorah from GMK. I believe it looks the same to me. I don't know of the last one we got. Uh, also a reissue and I believe a slight repaint is Hedera from uh, the 701 movie. And that's fine. And then on the U.S. front, finally, if you want to stick to U.S. stores, you're going to get a chance to get Batra and Biolanti, which is a good one to have one of the best ones. Continuing on the Bandai front, how about some new Agashapon figures with some classic Destroyal monsters and then uh, some really interesting little finger huggers of uh, some Gamras uh, and then a Plamo kit of Biolanti. So some Biolanti news here that's uh, pretty interesting for sure. And some news that I thought was definitely going to be happening. Uh, the Godzilla 89 SDCC exclusive as well as the rest of the SDCC exclusives as well as uh, the uh, two special awesome anniversary EVA 01 and Mazinger Z in gold and metallic purple that I saw at Anime NYC just recently. They're all going to be at the uh, Tamashi Nation store, New York, starting at the first anniversary of the store on September 8th. I was there last year for the opening. It sounds like I'm going to be there for the anniversary as well. We talk about uh, the Kitty Kuneman coming to SHF, but now we got all the official picks and pre-orders are going up shortly. Uh, it looks pretty cool. This is based on the new anime that's on Netflix. I haven't watched it yet. Has anybody watched it? Let me know uh, what you think of it uh, down uh, below, but it looks pretty neat. And of course, to go with that also, 
We got official picks of uh, the stage act with the corner of the ring. I like this idea. Uh, it's pretty sweet. I mean, it would have been better if they gave us a full ring, but I understand, and it's pretty interesting. Also uh, from uh, Tamashi, uh, how about a set of uh, effects parts for uh, Deku and uh, Bakugo from uh, the forthcoming My Hero Academia figures? Um, pretty cool. I don't love them doing like, you know, little extra uh, like effect parts, sets like that. I really wish they would just come with everything, you know what I'm saying? Um, because everything is kind of like necessary. Why wouldn't you want to include everything? Eh, I, I kind of, I don't like this. <laughs> I'm just not a fan of these things. Peter B. Parker and uh, little May is, uh, May Day is coming to the SHF line. This looks really, really nice. Don't think I'm getting it, but it looks awesome. The 50th anniversary Chogokin robot is finally coming up for pre-order. And it's pretty uh, cheap. It's under 50 bucks and it is 95% die cast metal. Uh, that is awesome. Uh, for a little robot to have that much under 50 bucks, yeah, I'm in. How about uh, a Chogokin ice cream pop? This is based on a very, very popular uh, ice cream pop in Japan. I believe there's two versions of this. Um, but this is the main one that's about to go up for pre-order. It turns into a kind of samurai ice cream robot. Pretty awesome. Speaking of awesome uh, robots, I love uh, the Super Sentai Megazords. And Bandai is doing a smaller set of them. Not a set, but like a line. A robot line of Super Sentai uh, robots, Mecha, Megazords. Uh, and I love this idea. They're still going to be transformable, but they're going to be smaller size, cheaper, more affordable. They look more toyetic. I'm good with that. I think this is going to be something I might uh, partake in, depending on the final price. But I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. Moving on, Haya Toys is doing a stylus series Shimo, and it looks pretty good. It's got a really nice looking finish. It's, it's, it's very nice. He's yelling at the sky, and um, a lot of these do. <laughs> <laughs> but it's fine. It l does look really, really cool. Um, I'm probably getting it, I think. I do like what I see here. 3-0 is doing a Rodimus Unicronus. Uh, this guy always makes me laugh. He looks like Macho Man. Um, <laughs> if you dig it, 3-0 uh, is doing it. Uh, Yolo Park is doing a limited edition Nemesis of Prime. These kind of go together, if you know what I mean. A little black and purple action. Super 7 has a G1 set of a blind box of figures, of Transformers, of course, uh, and here they are. They look pretty cool, kind of a reaction figure-esque, uh, maybe a little bit smaller than that, uh, but they do look cool. They have all your uh, favorite figures, and uh, they are apparently out already at Target. Uh, in the Ultimates line, uh, they are doing an MMPR Lord Draken. Uh, this looks pretty sweet uh, i do like myself some lord draken he looks awesome and then uh how about this hasbro pulse exclusive super 7 ultimates metallic uh rangers uh in the classic looking boxes so these are also up for pre-order right now at hasbro pulse as you can see they don't come with a lot of stuff but you know what? They look good and they're kind of classic toy feeling. So I'm into it. Uh, I don't know if I'm getting them, but I'm definitely into the idea of them for sure. And you're going to get all the Rangers that you could want, including the White Ranger and the Green Ranger. Of course, you got to have all the Tommy figures. And uh, then in the Super Cyborg line, uh, the clear Aurora kit-like Creature from the Black Lagoon went up for pre-order. It looks awesome. Revoltek Amazing a Yamaguchi One a Punch Man official picks are out and it went up for pre-order this week. It looks really, really, really nice. Um, there is a exclusive sort of like normal head um, that is uh, unfortunately a Revoltek exclusive. Um, I think Hobby Genki is going to have this one, uh, but I I'm sad that that head is an exclusive because that's the more fun head. 
On the Marvel Legends front, from Infinity War, we're getting a set of Outrider figures. These guys are cool. These are like the troopers, the the uh, Thanos troopers. They are really, really cool looking. And again, they are up for pre-order right now. I meant to talk about these uh, last week, but I just kind of missed it. Um, that the DS. T uh, Godzilla X Kong statues uh, went up for pre-order and the official picks are out. Both of these look really, really nice. I really dig what DST is doing with these. Uh, I'm just really, really liking them. They feel different than other ones that we've gotten from other companies. So I'm liking this for sure. Um, and um, if you want to order them, do check out the link to Entertainment Earth down uh, below for uh, pre-order availability. Nanmu Studios is doing a couple of smart, articulated Rexes uh, from, you know, something you may like out there. Uh, these look awesome they look really really good a definite um must get for me and um i i think they're not that expensive i think they're gonna be about 50 60 bucks something like that um that is fantastic also what looks amazing is uh, the hammond collection allosaurus it looks really really good it went out for pre-order this week i missed it i always miss uh, the pre-orders at target but once it is out, it should be easily available. Creative Beast Studios is adding a Platy uh, Belodon <laughs> figure uh, to uh, their Eon's Prehistoric Elephant Backer Key campaign, which starts next Tuesday. It looks really nice. Interestingly, Mega House is doing a uh, Pluto figure uh, from, yes, the Astro Boy series, but he's also from... The uh, Pluto movie from uh, Netflix, which, or was it a series? I haven't seen it either way, but it looks really, really cool. Uh, and it's articulated, which is interesting for sure. NECA had a bunch of things uh, pop up this uh, week, including a Ultimate Ash versus a Cheryl 2 pack from uh, The Evil uh, Dead. Looks really, really good. That first movie, man, that really um, did it for me. It was really crazy. Uh, but yeah, this is a cool two-pack. Then how about an ultimate invisible a man? Now, didn't they do an invisible man? Was it not ultimate? I'm not 100% sure about that. Um, but it's looking pretty good. Either way, get a lot of stuff. Uh, what more can you ask? Uh, how about a bride of Frankenstein? Frankie uh, in black and white. So uh, for now, a black and white bride of Frankie. Frankie with a lot of fun accessories for uh, sure. So a trio of awesome NECAs. Now Mondo has something coming out that I am going bananas over. It is a 1-6 scale Day Live John Nada from uh, Day Live. Um, Roddy Piper, of course. I love this movie. There are two characters from the 80s that like were like my heroes basically and that's Jack Burton and John Nada. Um, so I have a Jack Burton from Sideshow. I think I need this John Nada from Mondo. In a continuation of uh, the TMNT crossover with WWE, we're getting a Cody Rhodes in uh, Casey Jones colors, then a Seth Rollins in, I don't know, turtle colors, as well as a, a Rey Mysterio. Now, the Pull Gazzari from Titanic Creations went up for pre-order this week. We got some new official picks, and it looks very nice. Now, it's not officially licensed because it's a North Korean thing, and you can't really... I don't think you can get licenses for it. Uh, so it's a little bit of a variant, uh, an alternate take, uh, maybe a Heisei take on Pulgasari. But Pulgasari, he's looking pretty good and uh, something I'm definitely gonna wanna check out uh, for sure. I definitely have always loved this Kaiju. There's also gonna be two variants of it, one in red and gold, which looks really, really nice. And then uh, another one, that I'm not sure what the variant is. It's like a gold too, so that's pretty cool. Let's end it with some Kaiju Brooklyn news. There is going to be a 70th anniversary screening of Gojira. 
coming up uh, this fall by a kaiju of brooklyn there's gonna be a little small small little vendor area as well and uh you're gonna be able to get some cake uh so that's gonna be pretty cool do check out the kaiju brooklyn socials for more info and uh possibly your favorite kaiju uh toy reviewer might be there as well yeah yeah me me that's me that would be me guys <laughs> And that's the Ultra Z News, guys. I hope you dug it. Let me know your thoughts down below. And if you're new to the channel, why don't you go ahead and sub yourself for daily content. And let me help you diversify your collection. Till next time, peace out, peeps.